Alright you guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to crack back into the reactions, man. It's been about, it's probably been about three weeks since I made my last reaction. And I am feeling itchy. Really itchy to get back into it. I've got a whole list of reactions to do. I've got so many suggestions. Look, I've got my green screen. I just don't have the little poles to, to, to hook it on. Now, I probably could, like, make something up here, but I'm not going to. This is probably going to be one of the last times you ever see a reaction in this format. With me taking up the whole screen, having what I watch down in the corner. So I want to say thank you for being here. We're going to have some fun today. I'm going to watch some college football, and I want to see a really inspiring story, first of all, before I watch this game. The game I'm going to watch is Ohio State vs Purdue. I believe Ohio State were meant to win, but Purdue, as the underdog, came through and won it. And I think there was a very special fan, or possibly ex-Purdue student, that has an amazing story. And I'm going to watch that before we watch the game. So let's do that. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... If I, if I write in Purdue, I'm sure it's going to come up. Here we go. Purdue superfan inspires, inspires team's unlikely win over Ohio State. Alright, well, let's, let's have a look at the highlights first, and then we'll look at that, that story. Even though this is definitely going to be copyright, but it's all good. <laughs> it's all good, man. DJ Knox. The rugged tailback motions in, they fake it to it. Blau wants to throw it first down, and it's the oh, yeah. run down. Oh, oh he's got good run. Speed and a lot of power to go. First play of the game. And it comes from southern Indiana, but actually moved across the river to go to high school in Louisville. And now Blau is under pressure, and he's going to be slammed to the ground. Slam to the ground. Red zone trips, only 17 touchdowns. Hits 11 field goals in the red zone. And now we're throwing the end zone. Oh! No! Touchdown! Whoa! Isaac Zico! Nice. Now they need nine. Now stands his pressure, steps up, delivers a strike. AJ Hill's got it again. And another first down to the 35. And see how bold the former quarterback in Louisville is. The first down hand. Oh, nice run! Go! Banging off and we're gonna have to shut this window, guys. The morning sun is streaming in. Let me see that again. See, so he got. Is that like is that running when he runs underneath and gets that block? See, he's. This guy down here is then going to cross behind this guy, and the guy that he's going to cross behind is then going to block his defender. Is that right? Uh, or kind of. I can't remember what they call that move, but. Two tight ends. All time Big Ten football. Touchdown, Purdue! Smashing him! Last time they showed this press look and linebackers up the last third down, they dropped out of it, played zone, and they fully. 21 to 6. Oh! Go! 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 Fuck it out. Daylight. Didn't get touched. There's a downfield shot. It's a touchdown, Johnny Dixon. Johnny Dixon. They pick it to him now, Knox. Oh, he's through again. Go, son. Go, son. That's what I'm talking about. Are they unranked? They're unranked. He gets it that quickly. Caught! McClure! Touchdown! Ohio State converts on fourth down and scores the touchdown. Even though I like Ohio State, I'm finding myself going for the underdog anyway. That's, that's the kind of guy I am, alright? I'm definitely not a bandwagon guy. I love the underdog. They work the play clock all the way down. More in motion. They get it to a more in space. Where are you going? The pace! Go! 
Oh, this is great. They're making the world pulling the upset. They, they're contenders in the Big Ten West. It is intercepted. Bailey, the other way. Go. Oh, what? Fuck, man. This defending. Ohio State. Come on. Snap it. Boilermakers rush the field. What a win. 49-20. Fucking hell, there were some awesome runs there. But now, we're going to watch this. Which is Purdue Boilermakers rally support behind one of their own. Super fan, Tyler Trent. Let's do this. It's going to be special, man. Been wanting to watch this ever since I heard about it. This picture right here really shares his character. First of all, he's smiling, and uh, he's a super independent person. Once he puts his mind to something, and he's determined to do it, he does it. That's what I'm talking about. Slow the smile. The smile, the smarts, the strength. Tyler Trent had all those things then. Trick play. Boom, love the glasses. <laughs> and though it may be harder to see, he has them all now. I'd rock those. How do you see the future? Well, in the immediate future, in my mind, is that. Wait up, bruh. Just a sec. Nick Minnett. I'll put on the same glasses, man. Why not? There we go. Purdue beats Ohio State. Next Saturday. One, two, three. Oh. Before the weight loss and the compromised speech and the partial paralysis, Tyler's fight began long before he ever came to Purdue. At 15, his life changed during a summer game of Frisbee with friends. When I went and I threw that Frisbee, I actually broke my arm. Because my bone was so weak from the tumor eating it away. It was osteosarcoma, bone cancer. Your first fall. Will he make it? Will we be able to beat it? What is he going to have to go through? Constant. Constant, unrelenting pain. In October 2014, doctors replaced the top half of Tyler's arm, from shoulder to elbow, with titanium. Fuck. After nine months of grueling chemotherapy, remission and two years of cancer-free life. And then four months before entering Purdue on a presidential scholarship, the cancer returned. Fuck cancer, bro. I saw a, a face of my child um, crushed, disappointed, heartbroken. When I found out that I had cancer for the second time, the first thing I said to my doctor, I don't care how hard it is, but I'm going to school on time. In September 2017, Tyler had surgery to replace his pelvis. Eleven days later, he started school. Oh, fucking hell. Bone cancer. They're replacing all his... They're replacing his bones with metal? How many bones in the human body? 200 and something? On time. Good Guided cunt. by faith and driven by his fandom. Sorry, I'm gonna listen to that 11 again. days later, he started school. 11 days time. later. He's got a metal pelvis and he's walking Guided into school. by faith and driven by his fandom. Not crutches nor chemo sessions stopped Tyler from making sure He'd have tickets for the Michigan game. Oh, Lexus. what a fucking legend, bro. <laughs> he said, Dad, I'm going to go camp out so I can be first in line so I can have the front row seats. 
And I said, Tyler, do you really need to do that? And he said, yes, Dad, I need to do it. The head coach, Jeff Brom, was among the first to see him. You could see a guy dressed in Purdue, garb from head to toe, big smile on his face. He didn't tell me his story, uh, didn't tell me what he was going through. He just had a positive attitude and brought a lot of light to the conversation. I thought it was a one-time thing. I just thought that Coach Brown was coming over to say hi to him, and that would be it. It wasn't. From being on the field as an honorary captain last season, to being back for the season opener this year, all while the cancer spread to his spine, forcing him to leave school this fall. He's home now, 20 years old, in hospice care. No! Terminal. What? And we don't know the number of days. It's for a matter of his body telling us. Mm. After the Boilermakers beat Nebraska September 29th, the team knew what they wanted to do the next day. What's up, buddy? What's up? How are you doing? You got a little gift for our team captain, Matt. I appreciate that. Yeah, you uh, We presented the ball to him. It was tough. We just wanted to be there to lift him up and encourage him, and he, uh, he does that tenfold for us. We thank you for this. The time that we just get to spend here together. We ask for healing in your name. Amen. Amen. How did he look to you? He, to me, he looks, he looks like a boilermaker. He looks like somebody who's going to fight until there is no fight. I think when people go out of their way to um, come to your house, and pray for you and deliver me the game ball as a youth encouragement especially when you're going through a life threatening disease and don't know how many days you have left as the boilermakers welcome the buckeyes Tyler Trent believes he will be there in person or in spirit, either way. I think it would represent that last time, you know, that last game. T tell me he got it. Yeah. And they won. That's what I think is going to happen. Who is going to win? And they did. All right, let's watch this one. We are back now with a college football mega upset and the super fan who inspired it wow. all. We're talking about Fucking Tyler up. Trent. He is facing cancer with such grace and dignity. And he was right there on the field. The moment Purdue beat that powerhouse Ohio State. So he was that there. That was his only dream that came through. Isn't that right, TJ? Yeah, and you, you said it right. Yeah. Powerhouse, yeah. number two ranked. Undefeated Ohio State gets beaten like a drum by uh, unranked Purdue, all right? But that wasn't even the most impressive thing that happened in that oh, same man. <laughs> that night. Yes, the team gave an inspiring victory, but where'd they get their inspiration? Tyler Trent. The Purdue Bulls. They played great. One of the biggest upsets of the college football season. Setting off this scene. Final seconds, won't even snap it. The hero of the game was in the middle of the melee. He wasn't in uniform, but bundled in a blanket and in a wheelchair. 20-year-old Tyler Trent, lifelong Boilermaker fan, honorary captain, team inspiration, and he's battling terminal bone cancer. Cancer never dampened Tyler's diehard Boilermaker spirit. Despite constant treatment and pain, he found the strength to make it to Saturday's big game. Purdue head coach Jeff Ron recalls the first time he met Tyler. You see a guy dressed in Purdue garb from head to toe. He didn't tell me his story. He didn't tell me what he was going through. He just had a positive attitude. That's Boilermaker spirit right there. 
The team has adopted Tyler as one of their own, even inviting him to address the players in the locker room after the game. Thanks for leaving your heart out on the field and uh, joining the nation <laughs> being a boy. And overnight, Tyler received a very special message from his idol, New Orleans Saints quarterback and Purdue alum, Drew Brees. Hey, Tyler, what's up, buddy? It's Drew Brees. Hey, man, I was right there with you last night watching the Boilers beat the Ohio State Buckeyes. You predicted it, man. You inspire us. You inspire so many. You inspire the Boilermaker team. You inspire me. We love you, man. You are the greatest Boilermaker. You believed in me. The Boilermaker Nation believed in me. Awesome. Oh, uh, man. Football. He's been dealing with cancer since he was 15 years Football old. Football is... Wanted to go to Purdue. Is fucking cool. Man. Yeah. Fire out. <laughs> Well, I knew this was going to happen. I was warned. I was warned. But you know what? I don't give a shit. And I never do. Because these reactions are all about just being real, man. And I appreciate you guys appreciating me. Just letting it all out and saying what I feel. Tyler. Tyler Trent. What an absolute inspiration. I hope you can see Purdue win some more games this season. That's all I can say. But for now, we're on to the next one. So I want to say, guys, if you have enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to support Tyler, pff, fucking blow, blow, up his, blow up his social media. I don't know what his social media is, but go and blow it up, man. Say you're an inspiration. We love you. That's all I can say. In the meantime, I'm going to get into another one, dry my eyes, as they say, and I'll see you then.